Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. So the most important and relevant news and editorial that is important for your examination will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with news topic list. Today is 15th of May. The first news is SCO anti-terror body meet. Second, India-Nepal talks on hydropower and connectivity. Third, ISRO test booster for Gyanyan, the Gaganyan hai, usko le karke. Fourth is CCMB, that is Developed India mRNA Vaccine Platform. Sri Lanka, new PM want closer ties with India. And the last is an editorial, that is action that corrode the steel frame of India. Apart from the news and editorial discussion, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based question. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before that, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Service Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. The first news of the day, that is SCO anti-terror body meet, something very significant. Important for general studies paper too, that is bilateral regional grouping and agreement evolving India and affecting India's interest. So India will be hosting the meeting of a Shanghai Cooperation Organization, which is an anti-terror body, regional anti-terrorist structure or which is called RATS, which is an SCO organization, which is the hosting of India. Kare. So the meeting will take place from May 16, that is from uh, day after tomorrow, and it will be held in Delhi. The meet will see the participations of all member group, including the, pa the Pakistan participation. So this is significant for this time that Pakistan is also the part of SCO meeting under its RAT status, anti-terror body or known as regional anti-terrorist structure. So RATS ke baare mein bhi chije kaafi important hai. SCO itself is relevant for your examination. Now, delegation from Pakistan would be first time the part of uh, this uh, delegation of the SCO. Or India mein jo meeting ho rahi hai, aisi meeting hogi jahan pe Pakistan ke jo representation hogi, wo SCO ke platform ke through India government ke saath interact karegi. So it is important to know that Pakistani delegation will visiting India, will meet and participate in the multilateral event. Ye koi do country India or Pakistan ke beech mein multilateral agreement nahi hai. Uh, basically bilateral agreement nahi hai. this is a multilateral agreement which is through Pakistan Indian government ke interact kar hai. right so this is for the first time that the delegation will visit India since the new government has formed in Pakistan we have seen jo Imran Khan ki government thi uske departure hui because of the vote trust issue he was not able to gain that trust vote in the parliament the reason being the new uh, government is there in Pakistan now, SCO RATS Council meeting, ke agar baat kare, India will be hosting this SCO RATS, that is regional anti-terrorist structure. This is a council meeting which, which was earlier held, basically this meeting was in October. Mein bhi honi. And India has also proposed holding the SCO joint anti-terrorist exercise, sometime that has been supported by all member countries. Now, the last anti-terrorist exercise that took place uh, was in Pakistan, Pabi region. And March 22 year, there will be 37 council ki meeting hui hai, regional anti-terrorist structure in Shanghai Cooperation Organization, which was taxed under the chairmanship. So, this uh, time, the presidentship, the chairmanship, is in India. Ke andar. Now, something about RATS SCO, because this is going to be important for the upcoming problems examination. So, SCO ki jo RATS, hai, that is out of the UBA capital, that is Tangsin, it's a permanent body grouping that aims to counter the terrorism, extremist, sectorism or the regional stability hai, usko dhyan mein rakte hai, in ki meeting ki jati. The SCO is a grouping that come into existence in 2001 and India and Pakistan is member by 2017. So, dono India and Pakistan ne 2017 mein ki membership. The main function of the SCO RAT is have a coordination and information sharing. As a member, India has actively participates in all the SCO and RATS meeting. But India has permanent membership ki baat ki hai, which would enable to generate a greater understanding amongst the member and its perspective. Now, thodi si baat SCO ki baare mein karte hai, jo Shanghai Cooperation Organization hai, how it is functioning and what it is. 
So this was established in 2001 as a multilateral association to ensure security and maintain the stability in the entire vast Eurasian region. And this is what we are doing where joining forces to encounter the emerging challenges, threat, enhance trade and even the cultural and humanitarian cooperation in member countries. And this is the whole motive of SCO. SCO grouping is one of the largest groupings covering around 40% of the global population and 30% of the global GDP. So this is a factual information which can again be important for your prelims examination. Now the grouping is dominated by Russia and China which include four Central Asian countries like Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. Now this year Uzbekistan is the chair of the group and will hold the summit in September 2022. It will hand over its chairmanship to India, which will hold the summit in 2023. So these points, again factual point, can be relevant for your upcoming prelims and many other competitive examination. Now India-Nepal talks on hydropower connectivity important for general studies paper to India and its neighborhood relation. So the Prime Minister is on a trip to Lumbini, Nepal, where he will be attending the Buddha Purnima celebration. This is the one reason he has visited, but the ultimate aim is to strengthen the bilateral relationship between India and Nepal. So the visit will strengthen the bilateral relationship between India and Nepal. And this will also be the fifth visit of the Prime Minister since he assumed the charge since 2014. Kuch development projects ki baat ki gai hai ki kya priority areas hongi government of India or Nepal ke beech mein. So the first is power sector cooperation. The launch of India-Nepal joint vision statement that is for the power sector cooperation and this will include the joint development of the power generation project in Nepal where the cross-border transmission infrastructure, bi-directional power trade, appropriate access to electrical market both in countries or based on the mutual interest. So, dono countries ke liye mutually benefit karne ke liye power sector mein cooperation ki gai. Cross-border rail is again very significant. Both the prime minister has launched the operational of 35 kilometer cross-border link between the Jayanagar in Bihar and Kurtha in Nepal that would be the part of Iran-Nepal ties. So the name can be again important for other competitive examination. UPSC you can city ke name ke accordingly nahi poochegi but dusre examination mein kai baan names poochte. So make sure you remember that also if you are appearing. From cross-border rail connectivity to creating the electricity trade corridor, India and Nepal sought to strengthen the relationship which relationship is smooth ki ja sake and even the moment call for growing uh, pe Chinese ki partnership jo hai, jo footprint in Nepal mein, usko kam kare, us vacuum ko India fill kare. So this is something again very important. Territorial dispute. Uh, India has not officially raised any concern with regard to the political map that was released by Nepal government. And this was a disputed area that is Kalapani, Lipu Lake and Limpadurva. I think this was actually in the year 2021, not in 2020. So this is how things are function. This was a dispute hui thi, jisko ke India ne straight forward isko reject kiya tha. India has categorically rejected in May 2020. Uh, the government has headed by KPS only has released the map showing the disputed Limpi Durva, Lipu Lake and Kalapani with its border. But India has a straight forward via its Ministry of External Affairs official statement has categorically stated that we reject this kind of map. Now, what are the main outcomes of this visit to the Prime Minister? Ki. This is the main point that you have to note for your examination. The first is operationalization of passenger rail services along the Jayanagar Kurta section. Second is handover of the solo corridor transmission project. Uske alabe, examining the progress of construction of 132 healthcare facilities across the district Nepal, uh, that is from the government of India. Launch of rupee card in Nepal. Framework Agreement on Establishment of International Solar Alliances that Nepal is becoming the 105 country to sign this agreement of ISA. Something very, very important for your upcoming prelims examination. Memorandum of Understanding on Technical Cooperation Railways, Renewable of Agreement for Supply and Petroleum Projects and the period for five years and even the agreement for sharing the technical expertise between the IOCL and NOC. Now, ISRO test boosters uh, for Gaga and Yan, something important for general studies paper 3, achievement of India in science and technology, Indianization of technology and developing of new technology. So recently, the Indian Space Research Organization has successfully completed the static test of 
human rated solid rocket booster hs20 this number is important this name itself is important ye gagana yan program ke liye ek important milestone achievement hai jo ki ki gayi hai from satish dhawan space research center in sri harikota andhra pradesh you can see these are the two images that was released by the isro so something again very significant this is how the things has took place now about HS 200 booster ये है क्या HS 200 booster is a human rated version of S2 rocket that use geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle MK3 जो GSLV MK3 है उसके थ्रू इसको use की गई है and it is designed to develop it is developed by Vikram Sarabhai Research Center in Trivandrum for two year so the entire duration for the preparation of this was two year HS 200 is a 20 meter booster with diameter of 3.2 meters and is the world's second largest operational booster using the solid propellants so if it is asked whether solid propellants hai liquid propellants hai semi solid to is tarah ke jo basic points hai wo aapko dhyan rakhne hai science and tech ke portion mein upsc ke prelims examination mein important now gslv mark 3 uh, this hs 200 is a human rated version of S200 rocket booster that satellite vehicle of Mark 3 popularly known as LVM3 aur ye jo rocket hai will be used for the Gaganyaan mission will have two HS200 booster that will apply to the thrust and of 300 propulsion stages GS Mark 3 the second stage of the liquid propellant while the third is the geosynchronous stage now ye major milestone hai india ke liye jahan pe successful completion hui hai is tarah ki prestigious human spacecraft mission इसरो ने गगनयान एक फर्स्ट स्टेज है जहाँ पे लॉन्च की तरफ एक पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड इवन वी कैन सी द फुल ड्यूरेशन फंक्शन दैट इज कमिंग एंड दिस इट विल इंश्योर दैट दिस एंटायर प्रोग्राम ऑफ गगनयान विल बी अ सक्सेस फॉर इंडिया क्वालिटी कंट्रोल पूरी तरह से रखी गई है इसरो ने कहा कि सेवन हंड्रेड पैरामीटर्स को चेक किए गए हैं एंड वेन इट वॉज मॉनिटर एंड परफॉर्म विथ ऑल द क्वालिटी कंट्रोल मेजर्स लोडेड विथ टू जीरो थ्री टन ऑफ सॉलिड प्रोपलन एच एस टू हंड्रेड बूस्टर दैट विल हैव अ टोटल ड्यूरेशन ऑफ वन थर्टी फाइव सेकेंड और सिस्टम कंट्रोल की अगर बात करें एच एस टू हंड्रेड बूस्टर एम्प्लॉयज वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड मोस्ट पावरफुल इलेक्ट्रो मैग्नेटिक एक्लूटिस एंड मल्टीपल रिडेंसी एंड सेफ्टी फीचर्स सो वी आर यूजिंग सम ऑफ द एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजी इन आर स्पेस प्रोग्राम नाउ सी सी एम बी डेवलप्ड इंडियाज एम आर एन ए वैक्सीन प्लेटफॉर्म इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जनरल स्टडीज पेपर टू issues related to development and management of health and it is important for a general studies paper 3 as well where innovation of new technology is concerned so ye dono topic mein general studies mein important now first india's first indigenous mrna this is messenger rna vaccine technology was developed to fight against the covid-19 and this was developed by center for molecular biology right and center for scientific and industrial research ccmb or csir ne dono ki collaboration se bani The team Atal Incubation Center has led the development of this vaccine candidate. Or mRNA vaccines, if we talk about it, they are leading to vaccine technology today. They are the most advanced technology. Advantages? What will be mRNA technology? Ke? First, it will give rise to microbial protein, or it will train the immune system so that if there is a real-time infection of any individual, then multiple copies with a powerful antibodies can act on them. Indigenous developed mRNA vaccine perform. प्रॉमिस डील विच इनफैक्ट अगर किसी तरह से और भी कोई बीमारी होती है इन्फेक्शन से रिलेटेड दैट इज ट्यूबरकोलोसिस डेंगू मलेरिया चिकनगोनिया रेयर जेनेटिक डिजीज एन अदर वुड बी द पार्ट ऑफ सो दीज एंडिजिनस एम आर एन ए वैक्सीन वुड डेफिनेटली पुट ऑन होल्ड द एम आर एन ए इज अ रैपिड टर्न ऑन टर्न जहाँ पे ये वैक्सीन कैन बी डेवलप्ड विद अदर डिजीज पैन कोविड कवरिंग डिफरेंट वेरियंट ऑल्सो सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द मेजर एडवांटेजेस and csir ccmp is leading development of the mrna vaccine technology in entire country now sri lanka new pm want closer ties with india important for general studies paper 2 that is india and its neighborhood relations so sri lanka newly incumbent prime minister has said that they look forward to the closer ties with india and they have thanked indian government for the economic assistance that was provided india was proactively supported the pakistan basically jo sri lanka mein worst economic crisis hui hai usko kafi zyada support kiya hai india ne sri lanka ek aise time se guzar raha hai jahan pe sabse worst economic crisis dekhi gayi hai since independence assistance from india 
India has committed more than USD three billion dollar to debt-ridden Sri Lanka loan credit or credit swap since January this year. The government of India has noted that they look forward to work with the new Sri Lankan government. ताकि एक एक ऑर्डन से जो डेमोक्रेटिक प्रोसेस है श्रीलंका में वो सेटअप हो वहाँ के जो लोगों की प्रॉब्लम्स है उसकी सॉल्यूशंस हो और जो बायोलिट्रल ट्रेड है वो वापस से उसी तरह से स्टैब्लिश की जा सके इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस की अगर बात करें श्रीलंका इज फेसिंग द वर्स्ट इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस सिंस गेनिंग द इंडिपेंडेंस नाइनटीन के बाद ये पहली ऐसी इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस होगी जो इतनी वर्स्ट सिचुएशन पर चलेगी द क्राइसिस हैज काउज द पार्ट ऑफ फॉरन करेंसी विच हैज मेड दैट द कंट्री इज नॉट एबल टू इम्पोर्ट सम ऑफ द स्टेबल फूड आइटम फ्यूल और बहुत ज़्यादा एक्यूट शॉर्टेज हुई हैं इन चीज़ों की और प्राइजेज काफ़ी ज़्यादा ही है इन्फ्लेशन रेट ऑलमोस्ट क्लोज टू थर्टी परसेंट तक चली श्रीलंका वर्स्ट इकनॉमिक क्राइसिस हैज प्रोवेन वाइड स्प्रेड प्रोटेस्ट जहाँ पे पॉलिटिकल रिजनेशन की गई और वहाँ के जो इंक्यूबेंट प्रेसिडेंट और प्राइम मिनिस्टर थे दे वेर रिमूवड एंड द न्यू प्रेसिडेंट हैज टेकन द पावर इन दैट सो अप्रिल फर्स्ट द प्रेजिडेंट इम्पोज स्टेट इमरजेंसी लिफ्टिंग द फाइव डेज लेटर वहाँ पर इमरजेंसी भी लिखाई गई जो कि पाँच दिनों के बाद वापस हटा ली गई ना मूविंग टू द एडिटोरियल पार्ट ऑफ द डे एक्शन दैट को रोड द स्टील फ्रेम ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज समथिंग इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर जनरल स्टडीज पेपर टू गवर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज एंड इंटरवेंशन फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ वेरियस सेक्टर एंड इशूज राइजिंग फ्राम इट डिजाइन एंड इम्प्लीमेंटेशन so what i'm going to discuss under this editorial there are four important sub topics that i'll be discussing first is hate filled destruction call for inclusive development communal violence against minority and conclusion right so the entire editorial focuses upon the democratic value and the government function so recent mein aapne ek news suna hoga jahan pe jo retired public officers hain which include civil service and जजेस आर्मी ऑफिसर दे हैव रिटर्न अ लेटर टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर स्टेटिंग दैट ये जो पॉलिटिकल और सोशल सिचुएशन है कंट्री में इज नॉट गुड राइट सो द ग्रुप हैज कॉल्ड दैम एज अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल कंडक्ट ग्रुप दे हैव सेंड ओपन लेटर टू द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड द लेटर दे अपील टू एंड द पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ हेट एंड वायलेंस अगेंस्ट द माइनॉरिटीज पर्टिकुलरली द मुस्लिम सो दीज आर द कंसर्न दैट वॉज रेज बाय द ऑफिसर्स ऑलमोस्ट हंड्रेड प्लस ऑफिसर्स थे जिन्होंने इसको साइन किया हुआ है इस लेटर को नाउ हेट फील्ड इंस्ट्रक्शन की बात की गई है द फॉर्मर ब्यूरोक्रैट सेट दैट वी आर विटनेसिंग अ फ्रेंजी इन द हेट फील्ड डिस्ट्रक्शन इन द कंट्री वेयर एट द सेक्रीफाइसल अल्टर आर नॉट जस्ट मुस्लिम मेंबर्स बट द अदर माइनॉरिटी ग्रुप ऑल्सो एंड दे ऑल्सो सेट दैट दे आर कंपेयर टू एक्सप्रेस देयर एंगर एंड एंगश दैट द रेंटलेस स्पेस ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल एडिफाइस इज क्रिएटिंग आर फाउंडिंग फादर्स बींग डिस्ट्रॉयड तो जो एक कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल सेटअप है इंडिया के जो फाउंडिंग फादर्स के जो विजन्स थे माइनॉरिटीज़ को लेकर के चाहे वो गांधी जी के व्यूज़ हैं या और कोई भी इंपॉर्टेंट लीडर्स के व्यूज़ हों वो कहीं ना कहीं मैनेज हो रही है और जो प्रेजेंट कंटेक्स में दीज माइनॉरिटी आर नॉट टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन ना कॉल फॉर इंक्लूसिव डेवलपमेंट बेसिकली सबका साथ सबका विकास की बात की गई है सबका साथ सबका विकास एंड सबका विश्वास डेवलपमेंट फॉर ऑल विथ एवरी वन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन so the ex bureaucrat has hoped that this year which is a ajadi ka amrit mahotsav pm will raise above the partition constitution and they have also hoped that the pm would call an end to the politics of hate that is prevailing in our country kuch specific states ki baat ki gayi hai jahan pe ye sabse zyada cases report kiye gaye hain so these official in their letter have highlighted ki jo hate speech hai wo bjp ruled state jo hai present government jo center mein hai uski jo jitni bhi ruling states hai wahan pe kafi zyada hai which include states like Gujarat, Haryana, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand and Assam. Delhi is not being run by uh, government of BJP, it is run by Aam Aadmi Party. But here the police ki jo control is the actual central government. Ke paas the reason being the committee has named Delhi also. But why? Because law and order is not in Delhi government. The central government is doing the MHA Ministry of Home Affairs. Ke karti hai. So that reason being Delhi was also named. but to just to make you understand delhi is not under bjp government that is under the aam aadmi party now conclusion ki agar baat kare the objective may however be to connect with the politician and eager to serve their personal parties jo over jealous or ambitious officials hain they said that they need to have the dilution of the standard double standard game which is ongoing and hindering the democratic setup this could also create variable condition for both political parties and bureaucratic corruptions the constitutional morality is not just natural sentiment this is what the b r ambedkar has written in the constitution and democracy is not only the top addressing 
on the Indian soil, which is also essentially an undemocratic. So we have to see everyone at from the bottom to the top. Everyone has to be in short that they are making the progress and no one should be impacted with any communal right. So this is what how you can conclude. Even this is important for general studies paper four in ethics paper. Now moving to the MCQ questions of the day before I proceed just to tell you the answers of yesterday questions. For first question, the correct option is C. For second question, the correct option is A. Today's MCQ for practice, aapko batana hai, Global Education Monitoring Report kaun release karti hai? United Nation Education, Scientific and Culture Organization, United Nation Child Emergency Fund, United Nation Public Administration Program or World Bank. So these are some of the organization. Uh, you have to name them which among the following is correct. Second, Indian Cyber Crime Coordination Center. It is under the Prime Minister office. The scheme was set up by 114C that was approved by 2018. And this will deal with the cyber crime and comprehensive coordinated manner. So do check it out for the correct option. And these questions would again be relevant for your upcoming prelims examination. So this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the MCQ questions. If you have any other concern, you can let me know. I'll be more than happy to assist you for time being. I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching this video.